Monmouth Hawks return home this week to huge Northeast Conference games at the MAC Thursday and Saturday. We're happy to take a few minutes of Coach Rice's preparation time. Coach, appreciate a couple minutes during the week. It's all good, Eddie. Just excited about these games. Well, let's start with the, the first one. Before we take a look back, let's take a look at this game on Thursday night. Obviously, where your team is now, they're all big, and I'm sure as a coach, you you tell that to the guys all the time, that every game is as big as the next one. But two big games, LIU and St. Francis, these next couple of games, uh, obviously with the playoffs kind of closing in, and your team right there, these are huge contests. Well, they're always big, but uh, we're, we're taking it one game at a time, and not only one game at a time, Eddie, we're, we're taking it one practice at a time. And our thought for today the other day was, we can do this together one one game at a time. And uh, that's what our kids have to stay focused on. We can't look at the standings and say, hey, we're not in, we gotta win these games. We just have to say we have LIU next. Let's prepare the best way we can and then let's go out there and get the win. Coach, last time out you guys were able to get a big road win against Fairleigh Dickinson. Kind of get the, the confidence back on track, get the get the winning mentality back on track. Why don't you talk about that win? Well, it's amazing how that happens. You lose four in a row, and you think we're never going to win a game, and then you win one, and you say we're going to win all of them. So it uh, just to get a win, it was big, but to get it on the road because Fairley has played people tough at their building, and uh, and they played us very very well with a couple of their guys out. So it was big for us to be able to make our free throws down the stretch and and pull out the victory. In that game, you got some heavy contributions from some of the older guys. Jesse Steele had a huge game, a career-high 28, and then Deion Nesmith and Ed Waite going for double figures. Pretty encouraging going down the stretch that your older players are at least starting to lead the way. Well, those guys are seniors. Uh, I know Deion gets to come back again, but Jesse's a senior. He turned 24 the day after our game. I told him he probably got 28 points, and he might really be 28 years old. <laughs> but um, Ed played extremely well. Ed, Ed has been solid this year, and Ed has done a great job of keeping his mind in the right place so he could have success when he was called on. And uh, we'll probably see more of Ed in the next few games. Last time you had LIU in this building, it was the last game of the regular season a year ago. Big win over a team that went on to win the NEC Tournament Championship. They come in missing a key part who hasn't played for them all season, but still a very dangerous team. No, they're very, very good. Uh, the thing about that game last year was our kids were fired up right from the beginning. We jumped on them and then they put their heads down. This year's game over at third place, I felt like we were, we were in control of the game and we relaxed. We, we did not have the same mentality to finish them off, and they're too good to do that. So we, uh, we didn't finish them off. They came storming back and, and then beat us and made us have that terrible feeling. But we're excited about this game because they have won it the last two years. They are trending in the league, moving up quickly, and uh, it would be a big win for us. And then you look ahead to Saturday. I know, I know we don't want to look beyond Thursday. You, you don't want to look beyond practice today. But then on Saturday, you have a St. Francis Brooklyn team coming in that you beat them on the road. Mindset any differently knowing that you've had success against them and with now them coming into your building? Well, I, I think our kids will have more confidence. Um, you know, they beat us over there last year. It was a good game, but they did get away from us at the end. This year, we went over there, and that was probably our, our toughest game where we played our toughest defense for a full 40 minutes to that point. Um, and we're excited to play them again too. They are they are a team that's that's very very good inside. They have nice pieces. Uh, Glenn does a great job, and we um, we'll have our work cut out for us. But being in our building, if we get our fans out here screaming for us, I think we we'll have a chance to win both of them. Well, coach, that kind of leads me into my, into our last point. Coming back home, two big ones at home. Again, the playoffs are close, and I know that you said it on our broadcast last game against FTU. You alluded to it now fan support and the atmosphere in the building could really be the difference. Yes, it definitely can. And our fans have been great. And we're, we're asking you to continue to be great and maybe even be greater. Uh, we need the building. We need the building full. Uh, it gives our kids confidence. It, it makes them feel like it's their home court and no one should come in and beat us. We've let some slip on our home floor, and sometimes that keeps the fans away. But these kids have been playing hard the whole season. And I think they deserve that our fans come out and really support them for the, the last few weeks of the season. Well, to build on what Coach Jess said, tickets still available, but they're going quick. Call 732-263-5735 or email hawktickets at monmouth.edu to come see this gentleman's team, the Monmouth men's basketball team, play Thursday and Saturday. Coach, thanks for a few minutes and good luck. Thank you, Eddie. For Coach King Rice, I'm Eddie Acapinti. This is GoMUHawks.com.